Hey guys, VBED here with another V Place. Taking a look at the Doe 217, we're going to do a little bit more low altitude bombing. I mentioned in the Blenheim video that we're going to try this again with a higher tiered aircraft, the Tier 6 Doe 217M. Uh, this is the highest tier bomber you can get with the exception of the RB-17, which is a premium bomber. That costs 10,800 gold. That is an excessive cost for a Tier 8 bomber, uh, considering that's the only way you can get one. Hopefully they introduce more of these into the game because they can be quite entertaining. Uh, the thing about doing bombing is that a lot of people want to stay at high altitude because that's essentially what it says in the description. For my purposes, I think that it's more effective to do this at low altitude and can be quite entertaining. Something that you should keep in mind here is that this video is being done during the attrition battle mode. Everybody is flying in a fighter. Nobody is flying. Oh, there's one ground attacker. The reason being is if you're not familiar with attrition mode, hopefully it'll be added to the game permanently. But this is for the West Fall, West Wall, West Wall event where you need to complete a series of missions in order for you to be able to get premium aircraft. The XF-15C or the Doe 335A1 feel, do, fail, which I Let's guess means roll. arrow which makes sense because the decals are all of an archer. Uh, we are going to be going north, by the way, because I feel as though I can do the most damage up here at the garrison. Uh, aircraft kill aircraft, so they can go kill those aircraft. I anticipate the enemy is going to grab the stronghold in the middle, but it's a lot easier to flip one of those once it's already been captured by somebody, and with this aircraft, I don't want to dwell on target. The advantage of the Doe 217 over the Blenheim is that you get a total of 8 bombs, and they are all 500 pound bombs, similar to the Blenheim. Does a significant amount of damage compared to the other Doe variant, or sorry, the other bomber variants prior, prior to this. There is a Doe, as well as a Ju-88. Hit the target, nice. Look out for towers. Because they drop a series of 100 pound bombs, I think, or 200 pound. I am getting really dangerous. There we go. Drop the rest of these bombs and deviate from the area because we need to stay safe. Took very little damage on that room. We have well over a thousand hit points on this aircraft, which makes it quite able to endure a lot of damage. Even the IL-2T, which is a tier 6 attack aircraft, known for having high survivability, has quite a few problems uh, by comparison to this aircraft when it comes to survivability, it only has 900 hit points, 950 compared to this aircraft. We are running a maximum survivability build on this aircraft, so that is what is giving us that advantage. We are not using bomb sites, we are not using any type of engine boost, we are strictly going for the capability to be able to bomb targets and survive at low altitude. Alright, there's not a lot left, but we're going to come in here now that our bombs are reloaded. There is a player here, so that's, again, going to be a bit of a problem for us. These sites right here are worth way more, so we're going to drop two in the middle. The blast radius should be enough to do what we need it to. Brakes on. Oh, we got it. Leaving. There are a lot of aircraft here. Uh, with attrition mode... Killing aircraft is what actually takes away points up at the top of that big point pool at the top. You just saw there, fighter destroyed, negative three. Uh, because we have three capture zones, we get a times three multiplier. That times three multiplier means that every time we kill an aircraft, they lose three points from their overall pool. We will lose two because they have two zones. We're going to try and rectify that now. We have aircraft fighting up above, and we're going to try and make a long approach down the entirety of this battlefield here. One, two, three, four, five. There are five ground targets over there for us to hit. We'll drop on this guy. Sweeping turn. Drop. Maybe I'll get it. I missed this one, which is terrible. I missed two of them actually trying to make that one target, which is not good. Drop here. We gotta get one more. We gotta get it before the enemy gets one of our planes. Oh, they got one of our planes. It undid so much of our work. We'll drop on this site just to delay them even longer. And we gotta go through a reload cycle. Oh! 
looks like one of our guys killed somebody. So now they can kill me here, but I'm only worth one point. If my team kills them, they're worth way more. I'm actually going to slow down and engage this guy. This is a player. You know that we've got increased um, survivability. Pitch up. Where's my gun? Oh, my gunner's out. That's why. Come on, gunner. Fire. There we go. This will increase our survivability against this guy. I'm going to slam on the brakes, make him run into me. And it's okay if I die here. I'm not in a capture zone. I'm not hurting my team. I'm damaging him. He only got one point for killing me, not four. And he is hurting for the next person who wants to engage him. We're probably going to try and go for their airfield next. We can't flip things that aren't taken, so we kind of have to go there. Their bomber is attacking us, but he's missing a lot. Because there's if you want to kind of mentally picture a cone coming out from the bottom of your aircraft to indicate the accuracy fall off, the closer we get, you can even see the circles getting smaller at the end of that cone that's coming out the bottom of our aircraft. So when you get real low like this, it's very effective. Now we can actually go for the middle, which will give us quite a bit of targets to go after, but we got to wait for that timer to tick down. See that 20? We want that to get down to zero. I think by the time we get there, it'll be gone. Flip around here, look for an area for an attack room. There is an aircraft, it looks like it's descending on me. Slam on the brakes, let him surpass us. And watch this boat just pop up out of the water. There it is. Hey, bomb. Hey, hey there, boat. How about a bomb? You can have it. And I blew up that aircraft. Well, at least heard it enough. Two bombs there. Bomb here. Drop a bomb on this boat. Yep, there we go. Drop these other bombs off, and I'm going to run away. Uh, nice thing about bombs is they actually have a large blast radius and can hurt the enemy when they're trailing behind you. you blow them up. We're doing pretty good here. Decent combat score, considering we're not actually doing anything. Uh, hey there, buddy. My bombs aren't up, so please go away. Oh, there he is. He came after me anyways. I'm gonna pull him away from uh, everything. And I am gonna try and slam on the brakes here, because I want him to catch up with me. I am causing quite a bit of pain on him, and he isn't hurting me nearly as bad as he thinks. He actually had to pull away, because I'm going too slow for him to stay on my stern. And I just killed that plane with the tail gunner. My bombs are just about back up, and you can see I still have 726 hit points. Quite effective. This is way more entertaining than the bombing play that you've probably experienced in the past. We're about to win due to that multiplier, mostly. You can see that the enemy team, they actually have some pretty decent scores racked up for the players. Uh, compared to my team, but Great job they today. had the multiplier on their we'll side, so it actually worked home. out quite well. We did have a pretty decent tornado player there. And 365 capture points, so not too shabby. We'll take a look at how we did cash-wise, and what type of damage we actually did. Uh, you are probably going to lose your bomber every once in a while doing this type of tactic. You saw it happen there, but we did not go in vain managed to flip the cap zone and cause some pretty significant damage. We earned 67,000 credits at the non-premium. It's pretty decent. Uh, earned quite a bit few experience points and overall we were top on the team. So top for both teams actually. So very effective. Uh, definitely an enjoyable experience. Uh, similar to like how I mentioned on the Blenheim, suggest protection expert as well as demolition expert for your pilot. Uh, increase the survivability at this low altitude where you're clearly going to be engaged as well as demolition expert to compensate for some of the misses you may have. Uh, 
as well as just the massive blast radius. One bomb was taking an entire site for the most part. Two definitely got it. Uh, I have defensive fire on the gunner. Right now it's endurance, but when I am able to get two more skill points, I'll probably go back to precision gunner. Medkit will bring my guy back online fairly quickly, but when you start knocking modules off of enemy aircraft, when they start losing control surfaces, their pilot gets hurt so his guns are incredibly inaccurate, loses an engine, they tend to break away from the engagement which allows you to be able to dictate the battle. You're like, okay, you can go ahead and attack me but you're going to regret it because you're going to be hurt and my team's going to swoop in and finish you off. Like I said, we are looking at the tech tree here. That's it. That's the only bomber. It dead ends right here. It's an unfortunate situation. If you want the RB-17 for Tier 8, which I'm sure is great for being able to grind experience for a tail gunner and a pilot for your IL line down here, but it's too expensive. Too expensive, in my opinion, for that type of an aircraft. And I'm sorry, I said 10800 it's 12800 Thing costs about 50 60 bucks. It's pretty substantial. Uh, it only gets three bombs, air quote, but it's actually a cluster of 200-pound bombs. So... Uh, so three, eight, that's six bombs per volley, so it'll drop them in a row. So you can actually bomb a little bit earlier, and it'll go through the entire target in a straight line. And a 23 millimeter in the tail, and a 23 millimeter in the wing or the nose, I believe. So I'm sure if you want to experience that, there are plenty of other videos, but I am not going to be investing the money strictly to make a video on the RB-17 low level unless I happen across a good deal. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Low level bombing, way more entertaining than high altitude bombing. And you actually get to dictate a little bit more of the fight. I would like to think that in that battle, uh, we had a serious advantage due to the multiplier that we had, had offered to our players. We had some pretty decent players this match, so it actually worked out pretty well. Thanks again.